Back from the land of bold eagles, imperialist system and communism. We're back. <laughs> Ari, welcome That's back. That's two weeks in a row we've done it. Yes, but yeah, smash it. this is the first time you're back in a month. Maybe it'd over a, a month. It'd be a month, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you went off to America. Yeah. The land of the free. Mm. How free did you feel? It was pretty freedom. P- pretty, fr- pretty, pretty freedom? Pretty freedom. Did you, how many, did you buy anything with an American flag on it? Uh, I bought a rubber duck with... Uh, that was dressed up as a Statue of Liberty. Yes, I've seen that. Um, I didn't buy a lot of American flags. You could buy anything in an American flag. Go on. Like any, like think about something, and there's probably something. With an what a bottle. Like, no, made made like only with the American flag. Probably. Okay. Yeah. How about freedom fries? Free, freedom fries. I saw freedom fries on a menu. What's freedom fries? Uh, it was fries, but they were freedom. Every single one of them is slightly different. They like were the free. Slight, yeah, slightly yeah. spaced. They were free. Yeah. Each yeah. of them had their own, you know, I'm going to say everyone had a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I did oh. play with some guns. Guns were fun. Guns were yeah. fun? Guns were fun. Yep. I shot them in upstate New York. Like, okay. In the forest. Um, it just had targets. Yeah. Like yeah, okay. set targets up downfield right. and that was fun. Gotcha. Um, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Targets. What sort of guns did you shoot? Uh, the handguns or the rifles were like 22, 38, 46. You're asking the wrong questions. I'm, I have I'm no just idea. naming numbers, man. I don't yeah. know nothing about guns. I don't know anything about guns. I shot a bunch of rifles, uh-huh. uh, a bunch of shotguns that mm-hmm. like literally knocked me off my feet. Yep. yep. Uh, like you shot it and it, you were told, I was told like, oh, brace yourself for this one. So I've got it pinned into my shoulder and still it was like knocked you off your feet. Uh-huh. Strong. Yeah. Uh, and then a bunch of handguns. Yeah, cool. What mm-hmm. did you enjoy more, handgun or rifle? Did you do this? No, no, Sorry, didn't do the gangster can't kill do that. shot. Can't, no. can't do that on, on YouTube. No, mm. also can't do that in real life. Like, I, it's not a real thing. No, it's even better if you hold it upside down. No, like, you'd be surprised at how I, the recoil on a normal like gun. I is. wouldn't be. It's an expo. It's a oh. small explosion. I wouldn't be. Not it's, at all. It's one of those things. If you're holding it sideways like that, yeah. you're like, I, I don't know. No, it means you mean, that's the mean you know you mean business. Nah, it's kill shot. I, th- I think that means you don't know how to use a gun. Yeah, that's the impression I get now after like <laughs> not knowing how to use a gun, and then you shoot once. We said gun way too many times. Were you were you, were you um, taught like proper instrument safety, like not to have your finger on the? Instrument? I was taught where the safety was mm-hmm. and everything like that. Yep, um, yep. and don't point it at people. Mm. Yeah, you can point it. You can point it, but but with but with the the trigger, not the trigger. Sorry, the hammer. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. The hammer is the thing that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What am I you, pointing at? You point that at the people's so gun. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Safe. Um, I'm trying to think though. No, the, yeah, we did the basic run through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I had like a few beers beforehand and then I was like, I need to stop drinking because if you're pulling out guns, I'm not going to get drunk shooting guns. Did you, did you have this immediate like, because I don't do well around guns. I'm not mm-hmm. a big gun guy, but my heart always like goes... <gasps> Every time I see a gun, no, I had nothing. I went, no. I went like fluttering and like, yeah, I yeah, was like, like, oh my god, this is so yeah. much fun. And yeah, yeah, I get you. No. Stood in the sun shooting guns for mm. like four hours and yeah. got sunburned. It was awesome. But it's free. And then afterwards, drank like six beers. It's beautiful. The, it was awesome. It's the freest yeah. you've ever been. But yeah, America was cool. Cool. Um, would you do it again? Like, would you go to New York, upstate New York, and would you rather go somewhere else? I would like to go to America again. Mm-hmm. I kind of had this thought before I went to America that it's wasn't like it was never like a huge priority sort of place. Yep, uh, and not for any negative reason. It's just I mean, just like I, I I like history and all those sort of things. So I like True. going to Europe a lot. Um, the opinion I have of America now it's very similar to here. In the sense of like, there's nothing crazy different except everything's bigger. Okay. And uh, yeah. and it's like one of those sort of things that it's like I think I'd go again if there was a reason to. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd love to go to upstate New York again because it was beautiful up there. The city itself, uh, I really liked. Um, I don't really need to go back there at this stage. Um, again, unless there was something a reason to go back. Um, I've seen everything. Yeah, yeah, I've seen all the major touristy sort of things. Um, but it was a beautiful place. I, I really enjoyed it. Nice. I'd love to do the other coast now. I did the west coast. I'd like to do the east coast and see like Utah and uh, Arizona and all those sort of places. And okay. then like Yosemite National Park on that side. Oh yeah, thing. you can go to like the you can go to like Salt Lake City, Utah, which is like the birthplace of Mormonism. 
Yeah, that's that, a priority. No, but think about it. That's that's like that's history <laughs> as well. I suppose that, yeah. is, that is history. Yeah, that's I'm a, a big big Mormon buff. Oh yeah, yeah. I love Mormons. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I'd like. I'd still like to go back, but oh, yeah. I don't. It's not probably a huge priority at this stage. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's because there's so many other places I want to go. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree. I agree. There's yeah. lots of other places. Yeah, uh, but very cool place. If you haven't been, I think it's a very good place to go to. Yep. Um, Times Square was probably the biggest letdown I've ever seen. Oh, yeah? Like yeah. everybody raves on about, i got to go see Times Square. And it's like, okay. It's, yeah. it's like you go there and it's like, cool, advertisements and – it, it's yeah it's not so you just sit like you just drop to your knees it's literally not that great and then you go 20 minutes downtown and it's fucking awesome like it's i think beautiful. personally i yeah. would rather like you're in the you are in the like the epicenter of capitalism if you sit in the middle of times square mm. like just surrounded by advertisements right and just a huge sensory overload but like i said you go straight up you'd have like old broadway you know like well, broadway's right next like where Broadway is the main sort of things. It's right next to Times Square. Uh, it's in the same spot. Yeah, cool. But where we we stayed in downtown in Soho, mm-hmm. and it was beautiful. Like it was awesome. You and there was nights where I walked. I went for a walk by myself in the middle of the night. Like it was midnight. I was walking around, and there's people walking around. And everybody's happy and cheery, and it's like super hipstery sort of area. Yeah. And really cool spot. So if I ever did go again, or if anybody ever asked, I'd say stay downtown. Yeah. Really cool. Um, if you stayed in Midtown, like around Times Square, it's just noise and sirens and oh, people yeah, all the no, time. It's, and it's, it would and be a if you stayed help. there, I think it would be. And like if I stayed there, I think I'd have a different opinion of the city. Mm-hmm. Like I think it, I'd go, fuck, this place is chaotic. But if you stay like somewhere a little bit quieter, in still in Manhattan, it's beautiful. Yeah. Like it is. It's, it is beautiful. Um, it's just, and, and it is the best way to describe it is organized chaos. Like mm. it felt like Melbourne. Uh, like just bigger, um, like so many, obviously so many buildings and mm-hmm. the, the size is just crazy. Like you don't, it doesn't make sense. No, you, like it's, it's yeah. hard to fathom. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. But yeah, it just doesn't make sense. Okay. But very cool place. Mm-hmm. Very cool place. Would you live there? I don't think I'd be able to. No. No. Let's say hypothetically speaking, could you live there? No, that's what I mean. I don't think I'd be able to. No? No. Just- I... I think I'd love to live there, and I've always thought I'd love to live overseas for like not permanently, yeah. But like I'd like I think six months I'd be able to do. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think the lifestyle of New York is for me. Um, You're definitely a lot more. You'd be a lot more downplayed. Well, like a bit more. It's, New York. It's very, it's very go go go. But mm-hmm. it's also. If you didn't have a partner and you were by and like you were by yourself and you know you just wanted to enjoy yourself for a few months, I think New York would be. So amazing. if you're a small town girl in a big city, oh, it'd be terrible. Who just wants to? I'm a small town girl. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You want to get your journalism career off? Hey, look, if you're work, very no career orientated, mm. or then and like I said, if you didn't have a family or anything, I think New York City would be amazing. Cool. Um, if you're sad and alone, New York City. It is. It's a cool place. <laughs> I, I think. It's definitely a place you have to visit, but mm-hmm. it's one of those sort of things. Now that I've seen it, I'm like, as it America made me go, all right, there's plenty of places here I uh-huh. want to see again. Yep, like uh, like I want to now go and see. Um, but now that I've seen it, it's not like a place I need to necessarily distinctly go back again and see. I got you. Yep. Yeah. Whereas it was places like I went to Paris, and I was like, I want to go back to Paris. Yep. Um, yeah, I think it'll be the next time I go there. Will be if I get another event or an excuse to go. Mm. Yeah, it'll be good. Yeah, awesome. that was cool. Good. Yeah, good to be back. Oh, though. Good to have you back. Hmm. All right. Should we jump into it? We should. Cool. What do you got? What I get, do you got for me? I got some new stuff. You got some new stuff. Yeah, the last stuff. week, there's kind of been a, since I've been back, because mm-hmm. um, Kimo's been focused on the comp, uh, kind of started getting on top of all the new products and we've got a whole heap of new shit coming in. Yeah. Or coming. Yeah, I'm looking at one right now. A protein, a new way from Legit Sups. Just try again. A new way from Faction Labs. Yeah. Try again. All right, I'll put it back there. We'll cut <laughs> back in. A new way from Faction Labs. What a fantastic brand. Yeah. <laughs> Faction Labs has released a protein powder. So they had already released yep. a collagen-based protein. Mm-hmm. This is now their whey-based protein. Excellent. And it is a very simple isolate concentrate blend protein with some digestive enzymes. Is there any wank written on there? What? Um, well, like, oh, is, there any, is there like when you read some sort of brands, like, you know, you know, 
the dawn of time, one person would be no. hydrated. No, this yeah. is just a, it's, they're not even overselling it. It's Good. just a whey blend, which yep. is perfect. But that's what they've done. They, they actually, when we were talking to uh, Warren before I ordered it, I was, he was <laughs> even saying it's like, we've just done it as a good value whey protein. Good. Which is what it is. That's what people want. Yeah. It's nothing like, fancy. Like it's a pure whey protein. It's a one kilo, which yep. most of them are like a 900 gram, a mm-hmm. two pound size. Mm-hmm. It's a full one kilo, 30 serves, 69.95. And look, we could go on it for 10 minutes if we wanted to, but there's not much to talk about. It's, oh, a, it's a pure whey blend. You know, I've, I've um, spoken about proteins for thousands of it. Next, next protein. What? Are we done? Yeah. Oh, I was going to go through the flavors. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> there are six flavors. There are so six flavors. It's 69.95, 30 mm. serves per bag. Uh, and I think you get like 24 grams of protein per serve. You get 25.20 Perfect. grams. Uh, so we got it's banana. Very, sp- very precise. Sorry, it's very precise. I love it. What do we got? Six flavors, mm-hmm. banana, caramel cream, chocolate, choc mint, strawberry, vanilla. I do have to say, I've had the, uh, I've had the banana of this one. Mm-hmm. Very nice. It's, it's it's they're nice basic sort of flavors, and that thing, that's the best way to put it. They haven't done these thrilly over the top flavors or anything. Mm-hmm. It's just pure flavors. It's no, this, yeah, no, we're not talking. Yeah, I don't okay. like those. Yeah, same. That's such a thing. If you don't like the way this looks in a shaker, no. <laughs> a taste guarantee. You hate. I, no, you, no. You're never gonna. You feel can't a taste please guarantee. everyone. But if you're after a good basic pure whey protein. It'll be perfect. It yeah. fits your bracket um, and some digestive enzymes if you're. And it's sixty nine ninety five. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. It's actually right. good value for money as well. Yeah. It's good value. It's for a whey protein right now. That's very good. Very and much then so. um, we've got some shakers. We'll go with them as well. Yeah. So they're in store online. All that fun stuff. Uh, the other one that's just come oh, in as big boy back in as well is boy. Prima Bolix Way Ripped. Way Ripped, and this is the larger size now. Yes. Yeah. So this is they do limited runs of. Four pounder tubs. Mm-hmm. Last time it was the ISO rip. Now it's the whey ripped. So they're whey blend with some carnitine added in there as well. I don't, yeah, carnitine in there, but it's a 100% pure whey protein. Yep. Um, isolate concentrate blend, digestive enzymes, all that fun stuff. 55 serves instead of 27. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the small ones are 69.95 for 27 serves. These ones are 129.95 for uh, 55 serves. So right. a little bit better value. There's seven flavors, I think, from memory. Uh, banana, chocolate, choc hazelnut, strawberry white chocolate, salted caramel, vanilla, and chocolate peanut butter. That is seven. That is, in, that is in fact seven. So they're all in stock. Mm-hmm. They're in store. I haven't got them online yet, but uh, they'll be online probably later today, if not tomorrow. All right. Easy. Um, yeah. So you can get those if you want the value one. They also will fall into the same sort of deal as the rest of the premiumbolic stuff that if you buy any three, you get 15% off now. Beautiful. So you can mix and match anything. Go nuts. Cool. Uh, so that's another one back in. Uh, what else we got? Uh, this is a new slash coming soon. It might be in today, if not tomorrow. Yes. This is Level Up, the gaming formula, funnily yeah. enough. This is very, very basic, but what you see is what you get. It is a caffeinated drink. Um, it does contain tyrosine ML and mm. some nootropics in there as well, as well as just some, I'm reading the list here, choline, green tea, guarana, and ginkgo biloba. So great for the um, the brain. Helps it's when you're a... Wait, what happened at I the end of that sentence? <laughs> you cut me off. Oh, no, you were... <laughs> I was going to say, the new, it helps neurotransmitters fire quicker. Yeah. That's why ginkgo biloba green tea actually work well in nootropics. Like you said, it's mm. a very basic sort of energy formula. Yep. Uh, they're marketing it heavy, obviously, to the gaming audience, yep. but it's I actually used it a couple of times at I the used shop. I used it, yeah. And it's good for that mild sort of... If you're having a energy drink or anything like that, it's a powder, essentially a powdered energy yeah. drink. Yes. Um. So that's what you can use it to replace a monster or... You know your amino energy yeah. cans or it anything throughout the day. It is going to be more uh, caffeine than a monster. One serve is about two hundred milligrams it's of caffeine. Two hundred. A monster's yep. one fifty or one sixty in Australia. Yep. So it's one of those sort of things. If you want that same sort of level, but also it's a better value sort of product. Yeah. Um, but you can use it before gaming. Obviously, you I, use it look, throughout the day. You can use it before like a, it's great for people doing study, doing hmm. like if they're in like late time sort of work. Yeah. Great for that sort of stuff. Perfect for um, any of that sort of thing. And, and it's they taste nice. I've tried a couple of the flavors. Yeah. Uh, I've tried that one actually in particular. That is the sour peach, sour and lime. peach and lime, and it hits the nail on the head. Got blue raspberry, I think it is blue, blue raspberry. Crush. Yes, uh, that and one is acai pomegranate. Acai. Sorry, I acai say acai. Blueberry. Um, acai blueberry pomegranate, yes. There is also Crazy Monkey, which is cherry banana. 
uh, Shiny Dragon, which is Dragon Fruit Lychee. Sounds fantastic. And Nuke Edition, which is Blue Raspberry yep. and Lime. Awesome. So all six of those should be in either today or tomorrow. Uh, we've got a shaker that comes with mm-hmm. all of them as well. They're fifty nine ninety five for 40 serves. So it's a good value, just pure energy yep. um, sort of product. I don't know off the top of my head what the maths of that works out per serve, but it's enough. I think it's like a dollar <laughs> fifty per serve. Whereas if you're doing, actually, it is. It's like a dollar fifty per serve. Look at, that. Fuck, look at me, I'm good. Oh, you um, must have had some level up. I must have. Uh, brain work good now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No more me, smooth me brain smart. for me. Um, yeah, I leveled up my brain. Yeah. Um, so it's a great one if you want a a better value energy drink. Yes. Uh, so you can use it like Adrian said before gaming anything you want. Yeah. So that'll be in stock. That'll be online uh, in the coming days. Yes. Uh, so look out for the big display we have in the shop. The uh, quote, what Kimo said, I saw. <laughs> it's a. <laughs> He's big, like saw that thing. It's a big. It's a big display. It's a big bright display. With you, like, you won't miss it. It's what's it got? It's got a character on it. It's got like a. It's got the crazy monkey logo. Got, yeah, I had a feeling it was yeah. the monkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, and we got a new brand. Do you have a new brand? Completely n- another new brand. Yes. Uh, this one I ordered. What's the day today? Thursday. Today is the twenty. I ordered it on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. It might be in today or tomorrow. If not, definitely early next week. Is Nexus. Yes. So you've, you've seen this on social media around. It's done the rounds a lot on social yeah. media I've seen. So uh, what are we getting? We're getting the Nexus Perform and the Nexus Amped. Yeah. And the – well, let's just talk about – go, we'll go through, go through one by one. Yes. So new Australia – well, newish Australian company over the last couple, mm-hmm. last year or so, they're kind of really taking it by storm. Uh, they've got three products that we're bringing in initially, and then as the demand grows, we'll slowly start looking at the rest of the range. Um, they've got some unique sort of products. Uh, so the first one we've got is the Perform, which I'll pass you. Mm-hmm. Look, we've actually organised with a full sheet for you. Yeah, so the um, Perform here, it looks like they're high stim pre. Yeah, yeah. So yep. they do it as a high stim pre, typical sort of pre-workout formula of a one or a two scoop serving size, depending yep. on your stimulant tolerance and how much you want. Uh, it's 50 scoops per tub, mm-hmm. 50 or 25 serves, obviously. So yep. if you want to run through the formula, that's the two scoops. So this is based on the two scoop serving I've the got, of course. hardcore serving The hardcore size. serving yeah. size. So you get six six grams of citrulline, three and a half grams of betaline, or 3.2, one gram of ty- uh, taurine, five milligrams of L-tyrosine, well, two types of L-tyrosine, L-acetyl-tyrosine and acetyl-L-tyrosine, uh, caffeine and hydrous alpha-GPC and L-norvaline. These are all great for neuro, uh, neurosynapses firing. Uh, English walnut to prolong the half-life of caffeine. So let's say if you're taking in 400 milligrams, you will feel probably the half-life 200 over a longer period of time. So maybe more like from like one to three hours, more like four to six. Uh, you also have got some theobroma cacao and L-theanine, great for you know, the m- enhancing your mood as well, as well as... Mm. Me- mesembrine. It's got two S's now. Mesembrine. Mesembrine. Canna, which is Canna I has been. That's a spelling mistake. Yeah, because I think it is. I think, it is. I think yes. it's one S. Canna has been known to produce like euphoria. It's yeah. It's, it's a cells. mood. En- it's a it's a mood enhancer. Yeah, so. and you used to be able to get like Canna actually root. Yeah. Like, mm, 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 yeah. Go from there. But then you've also got bitter Canna and Carvo. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Bitter orange, Terra still being a piperine. These just basic fillers for most things. Not really fillers, but they do. Like yeah. That. Yeah. Uh, but it does look pretty. Hardcore. I mean, it looks something that's, that's not going to make you feel. Ugh, you no, know what I mean? Like, not going to make you feel out of your brain. It's stint. one of these all rounder sort of pre workouts that, look, if you do the two scoop serving size, it's at the high end for caffeine course, and everything yes. as well. But it's clinically dosed on everything. I find the couple of products we've got with the mesembrine mm-hmm. in it now, it kind of almost smooths out the heavy feeling that you get from the super stimulant sort that's of products. That's actually a great thing. It's sort of like, I don't know, this is when you said smooth out. It's sort of like if you were to pour like. This is gonna sound dumb, but you pour it into like a, like a circle, and it goes like imagine if it like spread like that. Yeah, that's like its harshness. If you added like the yeah, canner, it's it takes like, away it, that it harshness. Like that harshness. It kind of curves the edges. Yeah, yeah. I, I get you. I, I and that's that. that's how I yeah. feel with yeah. with those sort of products. Is if you and I feel the same with products that they have like ashwagandha mm-hmm. or anything like that. Mm-hmm. It kind of gives you you get the same sort of intensity from the caffeine, but then not the drop off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you don't get the jitters or anything from it. Um, it's a really well rounded sort of formula. So we've got. 
Uh, five flavors coming mm-hmm. in. I yes, we do have. We got rainbow you. candy, vanilla cola, jawbreaker, arctic slushy, and an electric mango. Yeah. Jawbreaker is like a gobstopper. Yeah, candy sort of flavor. <laughs> so jaw, it's again it's like that. Jaw, there's like jawbreaker is like another candy that's based on. Yeah. it's essentially sugar. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's, sh- it's well, like, they're all candy. It's colored sort of sugar. Yeah, <laughs> um, that one should be in any day now, mm. and we've got a couple of types coming for us awesome. to try it as well. So. With, that's the basic breakdown and everything like that. It's sixty nine ninety five, fifty sir or fifty scoops. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll talk about it more once we've actually had a chance to try it. Of course, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. But look out for that in the coming days. We've had a lot of people ask for that one specifically. The next one we've got is the Amped, which is their non-stim. Non-stim, okay. So we have again, we have another. This is a that's per the two scoops. This as well. is per two scoops. Yep. So you're yep. looking at thirteen and a half grams. So you've, Hardcore serving, 27 grams. I was about to say, that, look a, at that serving. It is a size. huge yeah. serving It's a protein size. scoop. If I would two I strongly suggest maybe going off with one because that is going to cause a lot of discomfort with your gut for a lot of people. Especially, the, yeah, it, well, yeah. If you go will, the glycosides and the citrulline, it's oh, nearly yeah. 10 grams just, between the two. Just grabbing yeah. 3,000 milligrams of glycerin, which is incredible, yeah. by the way. What glycerin does, it, help, it draws water into the muscle. So in, rather than producing more like a... Uh, like a vasodilation, like a more veiny sort of vascular sort of pump, you get more of a fuller feeling. It's a nutrient That's delivery. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It enhances nutrient delivery to, this, to the muscle. Uh, but then you've also got L-citrulline malate at six grams, so you get a great clinical dosage there. 3,000 milligrams of taurine, which is a lot of yeah. taurine. Yeah. But then you've got 3,000 milligrams of beta alanine, 2,000 milligrams of L-tyrosine, and again, 1,000 milligrams of betaine. And even some pink salt in yeah, there. Yeah, we've got- Alpha I, GPC, Norvaline. Mesembrine. That mesembrine, yep. which has one S on this one. It's actually got, and it's got double the amount. Yeah. It but has, that's what, it's, yeah. it's a good one if you're looking for either a standalone, mm. which is the- Two scoop serving size if you want a full clinical dose standalone yeah. product. And then you're going to get a wicked pre-workout without the caffeine. Yeah. Or then scoop of each would be, you know what I'm going to do. I'll make, it, I'll, make a, of each? I'll make a stack of both of them that will be discounted. Two scoops of each. Uh, so actually that's that's something I'll say now. Yeah, we'll have a discounted stack if you buy both of them. Mm. That'll be online. That sounds um, good. But a scoop of each, you'll get a wicked pre-workout. Two of each. Uh, I mean, two of each. In it, we'll, we'll, we'll reshare for some fun. <laughs> two of each, two you'll, of each. you'll hear colours. <laughs> yeah. um, it's... They're really well dosed sort of products. Yeah, they are. Yes, um, very much so. It's one of those sort of, and that's what I think I like about the brand is that their packaging is really cool. Like yeah, I, I like the packaging; it stands out really good. Mm-hmm. Unique flavors, uh, yeah. good pricing as well. So the amped is the same price, sixty nine ninety five for forty comes, scoops. Yep, and it also comes in four flavors: yep. Jawbreaker, Red Sour Straps, Grape Explosion, and Phantom Drop. So there's a couple of different ones, a couple yep. of ones you can stack across. What is Phantom Drop? Uh, it's the I think it's the ghost drops. That's a course. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm not getting sued. I see. No, no. I love um, Phantasm. Yeah. So mm. they're really good candy sort of flavors. Uh, yeah. Like I said, fantastic if you want to stack across the two or then standalone products. Yeah. Uh, they should both be coming. I think we got a tub of that coming as well. For awesome. Us. Can't wait. To uh, no, we definitely got that. So once we've tried them, we'll do a follow up sort of breakdown on them. Um, I'm actually really review, excited for those good two. Review. Yeah, really yeah. excited for mm. those two. Maybe I'll even get Thomas to film something we do. With it. We should do that. We should get yeah. Tom more in actually doing this sort of stuff. Make yeah. It more. Oh, all right. Last and but not least. The last one. So they those are the two uh, powdered pre-workout mm-hmm. products. And then we have one more unique one coming in, which is their ready-to-drink product. Yeah. Uh, and it's a called their Protein Water RTD. Uh, and it's a carbonated water and hydrolyzed collagen. Okay. That's it. Uh, it does have a few – I think it does have a few uh, – yeah, it's got a tiny amount of electrolytes in there as well. But otherwise, it's a – ti- ti- It is tiny. Yeah, it's I'm not joking. It's very tiny. I'm not joking. It's like Four, trace trace it's, amounts. It's 14 milligrams of sodium. Oh, to be fair, they are not adding it on there as a thing saying they're marketing it like that. They are saying it's a protein water. Which it so, is. 15 and, that's and a half grams, which is great. You know, for one can, you get 15 grams of yeah. protein. Yeah, so um, it's a collagen-based – Protein shake. So a collagen-based carbonated Yeah, it's sparkling shake. water. Yeah. Apparently they taste wicked. That is a carbonated energy beverage. It's no energy. No energy. No caffeine. No else. caffeine. So just protein. It's My just... And God. that's what that's what I mean. It's, it's great for something different if you want... To be confused. Well, <laughs> everything's got caffeine in it with RTDs. Okay, but this is what I'm... Because, well... <laughs> that's protein. <laughs> Yeah, sparkling that's water. Go, it's like, that's going to blow. Yeah. That's, that's going to, like, I'm having collagen right now. You're going to get collagen. Yeah, uh, but collagen. if you're looking for a 
protein drink that isn't a milky base mm. sort of one, we'll have those in stock. Yep. So we've got them coming in stock. We've got I've got uh, th- three or there's three flavors. We've got all three of them coming in: mm-hmm. passion mango, strawberry lime, and tropical crush. Yep, they're five ninety five, so standard sort of price for of all those sort of things. Uh, we'll have them both in stock here mm-hmm. at the gym and we'll have them in at the shop we've got a case of each coming in just to see how they go yep uh feedback so far has been incredible yes just yeah. in general about them uh so if you're looking for just a light especially coming into summer sometimes you don't want a milk sort of thinking, drink if you made this into like a slushy oh it would be fantastic oh, yeah maybe we could do that we, we should do, do that, that as a little thing at the gym yeah. but they'll be in stock great option if you're looking for something other than your milk yeah sort of definitely drinks. uh all of that i'm hoping any day now comes in um yeah cool that's it that's it that's it for all Mm. new shit that's it that's it it's a long one 25 got into it anything else you want to talk about quickly no nothing no car no don't want to talk about no we don't we don't talk about that (laughs) next week for sure maybe there's an update for that next week i hope fucking no let's (laughs) let's not let's Let's not not jinx it nope okay all right i think that's it it's Mm -hmm. good to be back yeah yes I'm trying to think I don't think there was anything else No Apart from the comp this weekend That's it Next week there'll be a big recap Can yeah. I do on that and This is this is exactly He'll, be, he'll do this <gasps> That's the real Yeah <laughs> <laughs> See you on the internet guys We'll Bye-bye. see you next week <laughs>